Hey everyone, today we're going to talk about a boot that I ignored for quite some time, did not think much of, but now I am 100% in love with it, and that is the Red Wing 8884, the Camouflage Mach Toe. And today I'm wearing the uh, 8012 Munson and the uh, Munson Rangers in the Burgundy. Alright, so, uh, yes. Did not think much of this boot whatsoever. The 8884 camouflage, when I first saw it, I thought, who the hell would buy that? And then I looked at it more and more, and I finally tracked it down because this was an online exclusive on Red Wing's site, and then it went away, and then that's when I really wanted it because I couldn't find it, of course. And then I found it in Brooklyn. So let's take a closer look at the Red Wing 8884 camouflage mock Okay, so this is the Red Wing 8884 Camouflage Mach Toe, and this leather is called the Mossy Oak. I got this boot, I wanna say, uh, a week and a half ago, and I wore it five days straight to break it in, and uh, the usual happened. My pinky toe here got murdered on both sides. Um, it's, I would say, close to being broken in. You can see in the bottom I got some uh, mud and dirt in there because I took them to the park. Uh, this morning to walk the dog, but um, cha I immediately changed the laces into orange and um, it, When you feel this this leather this mossy oak leather it feels like plastic. It doesn't really feel like leather initially uh, but uh, it's such a Finally that I have it. It's such a cool boot. Uh, I know I was like what this is so weird a camouflage boot I don't know. I don't know and then I was like, hell yeah, I'm totally getting this boot. So we have the uh, traction tread sole that I've already been wearing and beating up. Uh, this is made on the 23 last, and uh, Goodyear Welt, and this is a six inch mock toe. And we have the camouflage triple stitch, oh yeah. And um, what else do we say about this boot? It's just, uh, it's kinda cool. <laughs> After, I actually had to get, um, this is a half size, big um, but um, I just put an insert in there and it's totally fine and the one thing I like about this boot is that the way the hide is is that it's this entire uh, mossy oak so you're not gonna have if, if I had two pairs of these boots they won't look the same because of the way it's cut so I think that's just really cool uh, that if you look at another 8884 all these little details are gonna be different because of the way the hide is cut so I think that's kind of cool too so I was thinking I should get another pair of these and they would be totally different so uh, I'm kind of debating that but they're just not easy to find so I'm going to show you the inside of uh, inside of the the boot um, we have uh, the uh, leather insole here and the uh, leather here in this inner part is really quite soft um, so this is you know this is super smooth because it, it honestly does not feel like leather. Kind of like the Skagway mock toe feels more like plasticky. This is the same way it feels more like a plastic, um, although it is leather. So you have that beautiful leather there. All right. So yeah, this, um, this boot I definitely slept on, but I honestly really like it now. And um, I'm gonna probably break it in even further, and then I think I may change the uh, sole on there. I haven't decided yet. I do like the white sole traction tread, but I think I may do something else uh, on this. I know you can do Vibram in, in several different colors, so I was kind of thinking of that, or maybe just uh, how black would look, I'm not sure. But for now, I'm sticking with the white soles until they're really broken in, and then we'll go from there. But, it is pretty cool. Okay, let's do the on feet. I found the 8884 in Williamsburg, Brooklyn at Jane Motorcycle. Uh, they were half size big, but uh, I went with it anyways because I could not find them anywhere else. And what I do is I put in the uh, insert from Red Wing um, with the, it's a 3 4 um, insert. And the boots are totally fine that way. And um, 
wore them five days straight to break them in be honestly because i was just excited to have this boot and um i guess because it was hard to track down <laughs> but i was excited to have it and i would say the best thing one of the best things about this boot is that it does go with a lot so i'm wearing it now with the uh with salvage denim from these are Japanese salvage denim uh, from Gap, and I we, the five days I had them on, I wore them with a khaki colored chino, which looked really really good. Uh, they look great with black. I think I wore them with a black chino. Um, I man, did I wear them? I think I even paired them with no no no. I didn't go that route. Um, I was going to pair them with an army green chino, but I don't think I went that far. But I did wear them with the selvage chino and selvage uh, jeans. And you'll also notice that I took out the laces and put in the orange laces from Ben Joe's because I thought this that would just be like a nice touch, kind of like uh, if you were hunting, you wear that bright orange to identify yourself. I thought that was a, a nice touch and it looked it looks good. And now I've seen these mock toes these camel mock toes with the vibram lug sole and i think that looks really good i'm not sure if i'm going to do that route i was thinking something a little bit more loud but then i was looking at the black um tracks and tread sole that red wing makes and i think that could be another option as well um, but currently i'm just going to wear them with the um as they came with the the white sole and break them in and it's interesting because the boots i i got a couple of compliments on the boots, like oh those are really cool boots but most of it is that i noticed that people just stare and they're kind of curious as to who makes the boot or just what is actually going on with the boot i've noticed that quite a bit where people will just look at them and kind of, I don't know if it's an, a look of approval, a look of um, disapproval, but it's just kind of like they're definitely loud and 100% noticeable. One of the interesting things is when I purchased these at Jane Motorcycle, the, the uh, merchant at the store told me that um, most of the folks who bought this boot were from overseas. He said, uh, you're gonna be one of the few walking around uh, New York City with these boots because most of our stock went overseas. And I thought that was interesting because these are available um, in uh, Europe. So um, why they would wanna buy them in the US um, is uh, interesting unless they were pretty, pretty much sold out out there but i don't know i did see them recently on nordstrom rack but only in sizes that were way way small like four and size five um, but i'm going to keep my eye out for that and see if they reappear on nordstrom rack as seconds or um some kind of overstock because um i i honestly would do another pair of these because the hide is going to the the um the mossy oak leather will be different in each uh each boot so i was kind of like i may do that um because and also because they'll be cheaper than what i paid for them they'll be probably um over 100 and 130 dollars cheaper so that's you know why not have a second pair for $130 cheaper, $140 cheaper. I'm curious what you guys think of this boot. Let me know in the comments below. I have not seen this boot reviewed much on YouTube. Um, I think I may have seen one video where someone has like a really close up uh, shot of the leather, of the uh, mossy oak leather, but no, no one that has um, reviewed the boot. Um, I'm curious what you guys think of it and if um, it is uh, too daring to pull off but I honestly really like it. I, I totally 100% poo-pooed this boot when I saw it online as an online exclusive. And then I just looked at it online more in more images and I was kind of like, I think I could do something with this. I think I can actually like wear this and, and find outfits that go with it. Uh, and, um, and then I was trying to track it down and that was very difficult. Um, but I'm so glad that I can add these to the uh, collection and I am so glad I got them. And um, I uh, will wear these uh, 
all over the streets of New York. So that is the Red Wing 8884 Camouflage Mock Toe in the Mossy Oak Leather. Thank you so much for watching and remember, be a boot. See you guys next time.